pair of linear equations in two variables. So, in the last part of pair of linear equations in two variables this series, we have done the two methods, the algebraic methods, substitution method and the elimination method. And now after seeing both the methods, you are free to use any of the two. I discuss with you that both the methods have their pros and cons, but if the question comes for solving by substitution method, you, you will have no choice, you will have to solve by that question by substitution method only. But in case they ask you to solve by any, then you are free to, okay. In today's part, we are going to see a word problem based on the pair of linear equations, okay. Now, earlier we have seen a word problem where that we have solved by graphical method. Today, this question we are going to solve by algebraic, any of the two, okay. So, you will tell me that which method I am using, yes. So, let us have the question. So, here is the question, two men and seven boys can do a piece of work in four days. It is done by four men and four boys in three days. How long would it take for one man or one boy to do it? Now, this is very common question and this is very, uh, I will say that repeatedly asked question in most of the competitive exams. So along with the 10th standard, you will get such questions definitely in most of the competitive exams. So, this is not that much easy and it is not that much difficult, okay. So, mathematics is very simple. It has nothing to do with your intelligence or your dumbness. Mathematics is the subject of those students who are willing to do hard work. If you are a hard worker, then mathematics is in your stride. You can deal with it very finely okay so let's have the solution so first of all i would ask you that suppose if you are writing a paper question paper you are giving an exam and you are given with the three hours you have to complete that exam in three hours okay or if you are completing that exam in three hours so, what you will consider that if in you are solving that exam in 3 hours, so in 1 hour, how much part you should have completed? If you have to complete that whole exam in 3 hours, then in 1 hour, how much part you should get it completed? You should get at least one third of the paper. One third of the paper, you should get it completed. Okay. In 2 hours, 2 thirds. So, what you will say? If three hours are given, suppose, suppose you are writing five pages, okay, five pages in one hour, okay, okay. So, one page you will finish in one fifth of that hour. Is it very clear? Is it very clear? You are writing five pages in one hour. So, in one page you will have to finish by one fifth of that hour. Is it very clear? So, this way we are going to deal with this question. So, let us have the solution. So, first of all, we will have to consider like if man is doing some work and boy is doing some work. So, we will have to consider that let man, one man can finish that work in x days and the boy can finish that same work in y days. Okay, So, we will get the introduction of the variable first. So, first consideration is let the time taken by one man because we are asked for one man and one boy, one man to finish the work be x days. So, alone one man is doing, so he is going to finish that work in x days and let the time taken by one boy be y days, okay. So, one man is finishing that work in x days and one boy is finishing that work in y days. So, how much work that one man will do in one day? Just now we have seen, if I am doing a particular work in six days, so in one day I will be able to do it one sixth, one by six. Is it very clear? 
Is it very clear? That is the parameter. So, work done by one man in one day will be 1 by x and work done by one boy in one day will be 1 by y. Hope this is clear to all of you. Yes, this is the main concept. Nothing is there. So, now what they are asking us? They are asking us that two men, if one man is doing in 1 by x, okay, and one boy in one day he is doing 1 by y work. So, what will say? Two men and seven boys. Two men means 2 into 1 by x plus 7 into 1 by y. They are doing in 4 days, so means they will do 1 fourth of the work. Two men and seven boys will do 1 fourth of the work. Okay, so this is our first equation. And same way, 4 into 4 men and 4 boys. 4 into 1 by x plus 4 into 1 by y will do how much work? One third of the work. One third of the work. Okay, so 4 men in one day plus 4 boys in one day will do one third of the work and 2 men in one day and 7 boys in one day together will do one fourth of the work. Okay, if this is clear, then everything is clear. Now, because this 1 upon x and 1 upon y, we are dealing with 2x plus 3y or 5x plus 7y. So, this is creating problem. So, what we'll do, we'll remove this. What we'll do, we'll put some another variable in place of this. So, suppose if we have the equations 2 into 1 by x plus 7 into 1 by y equals to 1 by 4 and 4 into 1 by x plus 4 into 1 by y equals to 1 by 3. So, what we will do? We will remove this 1 by 1 by. What we will do? We will put 1 upon x equals to some a and 1 upon y equals to some b. So, in both the cases. So, what we will get this equation as? We will get it as 2a plus 7b equals to 1 by 4 and 4a plus 4 b equals to 1 by 3. Is it very clear? Now, we have seen, now I will use one method. We have seen two methods, substitution and elimination. Now, I will be using one method here. Then you will have to tell that which method it is. Okay. So, let us have it. Now tell which method I am using or I have used. What I did? What I did? I eliminated one of the variable. I eliminated one of the terms. Okay. So this method is called as elimination method. What I did? I checked that here it is 4a and here it is 2a. If I multiply by 2, so I will get the coefficient same and if I subtract, then I will be able to eliminate that variable. So what I did? I simply eliminated one of the variable. So, 4a, 4a got eliminated, 14 minus 4 is 10b and this will get 2 by 4 is 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3. So, this will have to do algebraically. So, we got 10b is equals to 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3. So, 10b is equals to 3. 1s are 3 minus 2 1s are 2 upon 6. So, we will get 10b is equals to 1 upon 6. So, 10 will go here. So, we will get b equals to 1 upon 60.
Now, what we'll do? We'll put this value in another equation. That is, four a plus four b is equal to one upon three. When you are putting this value of b here, what I'll get? Four a plus four into one upon sixty is equal to one upon three. <clears throat> Then we know that fifteen uh, fours are sixty. So I'll, what I'll get? Four a plus one upon fifteen is equal to one upon three. What I'll do now? We are sending this one by fifteen on the other side. So we'll get four a is equal to one upon three minus one upon fifteen. Okay. Till here. Yes, everything is clear. If I take LCM, what I'll get? Four a is equals to five minus one upon fifteen. Okay, so four a y five, you know, because five three are fifteen, so we'll multiply by five in numerator and denominator. Okay, we'll get four by fifteen. We'll send this four here, so we'll get a equals to four upon four into fifteen. Four four will get cut. A equals to One upon fifteen. Now, A's value is A's value is one upon fifteen, and B's value is one upon sixty. But we know A was nothing but one upon x is one upon fifteen, and B was nothing but one upon y is one upon sixty. So we get x as fifteen and y as sixty. Is it very clear? X means X was the time taken by men, and Y was the time taken by boy. So men will take men will take 15 days to complete that work, and boys one boy will take 60 days to complete that work. And that was our question. Our question was, let's see. Our question was, two men and seven boys can do a piece of work in four days. If it is done by four men and four boys in three days, how long would it take for one man or one boy to do it? So what we got the solution: the man will take 15 days, and the boy will take one boy will take 60 days. Okay. So hope the question is clear. See, this is a type of question I told you is asked in competitive exams also. So yes, it is of that level. Definitely, it uh, it will not be that much easy, but it is not that much difficult. And again, it is coming that same level. If you practice, then you will be able to solve it. Okay. So with this, we'll stop here. Take care.